One, two, three, four, five, let's go! from the plastic microphone studios no really really this is the plastic look this is like stuff it even says plastic microphone studio right there micro i mean it's a micro version of microphone but anyway this is where we are we have video welcome to 2023 i'm your host jamie ray beaming to you from the plastic microphone studios deep in the heart of cajun country this is fade five from vans I'm your host, Jamie Ray. Did I say that? I get this weirdest deja vu. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us. <laughs> We've got a very educational, very thought-provoking episode for you today. But before we get to it, I want to do a very special Fave 5 fan shout-out. Now, this really isn't a fan. Of course, I mean, everyone's a fan until they've heard the show or... Yeah, they're, they're a fan after they hear, the, well, some people. Anyway, um, but I today want to shout out to Summer of Footprints and More. Um, she is a really cool artist uh, on Etsy. She uh, does vintage prints on uh, encyclopedia pages, uh, on dictionaries. She also makes these really cool, right now, of course, it's Christmas. Uh, she does these Krampus ornaments, but... The most incredible thing that she does is customizable VHS lamps. What may you ask is a VHS uh, yeah, lamp? I'm curious. That's it right there. So I'm going to try to show you real quick what it is. It is an actual VHS tape with cool little LEDs inside of it that you can take this and change the colors to. <laughs> change the patterns. I'm sorry, not the colors, the patterns. It flashes. It does anything you want it to do. It comes with that. You can use the real remote control, and it'll do other things. Yeah, there we go. There it goes. So, so it changes. cute. So cute. And as cool as it is, Summer will make your favorite movie into a VHS. That is really cool. It is really cool. So I want to thank her for being a fan slash supporter slash loving person of it and i'm going to suggest that you go to find her on etsy and that's at foot f-o-o-t-e prints and more and check out everything she's got um she's got some great items uh that'll fit anybody's budgets find something uh help her to grow her store and if you buy something tell her faith five cents you hey that was an ad yeah, that was great yeah thank you i've been trying that's great <laughs> You may be asking, who is he talking to in the Plastic Microphone Studios? I'm going to answer that question for you. Today, we are going to be talking about our fave five principles. Now, I don't mean, you know, anytime I see a, an animal, I pick it up and help it. Not that kind of principle. I'm talking about educational principles of TV and films. And who better than Liz Shotland? I knew that. I was kind of pausing okay, to see if I, I wanted to shit. <laughs> no, I was like, come on. Yeah. No, you totally knew. I, I totally knew. You did. Yeah, I do. It's only been 32 years. Yeah. 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 Something like that. It has been. I mean, where do you think of go yes. back to high school? Yes, high so, school. You know, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, which is funny enough. We, it's a whole long story. Um, we didn't know each other in high school, mm -hmm. but we went to the same beta club convention. convention. Was that Lake Charles? Baton Rouge? Uh, I think Lake Charles. Lake Charles, yeah, I think so. And her school ran a candidate, and I ran a candidate, and for some reason, I stood out in her mind. I don't yeah. remember why. Yeah. Feel free uh, if yeah. you remember. So, uh, my first image of Jamie Ray Experience. was uh, him standing on a stage in a toga, <laughs> and I get... And, a two uh, beta! Yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> and so that was what, you know, that's my first, that's what comes to mind when I think of Jamie Ray. So yeah. Purple so the, high tops. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were just so cool. Um, was? You, had, you had curly what? hair, big curly hair big. back then, I mm. think. I'm not sure, but I no, did, it was. right? It was. Yeah. Okay. I still have it around here somewhere. Yes, yeah, somewhere. A jar. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that, um, I mean, we look a little different from then. A just bit. a little, yeah, a little different. Yeah, yeah. It's the. It's, I think it's the eye makeup. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Maybe so. I have glitter eye makeup. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Liz has been a principal. Well, you've you've been in education. For what? Thirty years. Thirty years. Okay. You were teacher. Eighteen years, middle school. Okay, and then. And then I became an assistant principal for one year. Mm-hmm. And then I became a high school principal for, I think, eight, nine years. Of, that was Mamu High School. In Mamu. Mm-hmm. Mamu High School. Mamu. Where Big I graduated, Mamu. was born, Go Green Demons. et cetera. Right, Green Demons. And um, and then I, I went to the Department of Education um, in the state of Louisiana mm-hmm. for uh, as a consultant to right. work with struggling schools, um, to try to support them um, to do better and just, you know, help them. And then um, and then I stayed one year at Oakdale High School at Allen Parish. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, a year and a half, maybe two years. I'm not sure. And then I, I had an opportunity to come back to Evangeline, which is where I'm from, where Mamu is, uh, you know, belongs, and, um, and manage a grant. So that's what I'm doing. So – very humble here. What she fails to mention is that she was in 2018 one of the finalists for the high school. Oh, I'm sorry, the Louisiana Department of Education Principal of the Year. Yeah, and it really is just an honor to be. Yeah, nominated. it was great. It was a great experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got to say, I know her. You, you were on the cool. news. I was. Like several different. Yeah. I mean, all over it's the really state. Cool. It, it was really was. cool. Yeah, you should Ste- be. Definitely sticks out. In my um, professional career. Yeah. Well, yeah. it should. Because it's awesome. Yeah. And that yeah. is one of the reasons why okay. when I thought principals, the only person I thought of. Well, well actually, you. you're the only person who called me back. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> After, I don't know. <laughs> There's no need to count out how many principals I knew before I got to but you. But that's okay. It's important that I called you back. Yes, I was the principal to call Th- you back. That's it. That's it. So that's why okay. she's got the gig. All right. The and- toga did it for me. <laughs> Was Definitely. It was it the fro? <laughs> May the fro help too. <laughs> May the fro be with you. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about all of those uh, principals and vice principals or assistant principals. Okay. We may even get into why one's an assistant and one's a vice. But uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, and you know, there's been TV shows, there's been movies, there's been all of these different characters mm-hmm. throughout who, who may or may not have left an impression. But I think you are uniquely uh, situated to speak about okay. your favorites all right and so that's kind of what i want to do okay. um i think uh okay but before we get to that uh you have some a big announcement literally just yesterday yes you have a big grant approval yes. that you were to so right. tell us a little bit about that so uh i am managing the reimagined grant for evangeline parish and we um have come up with a unique school design mm-hmm. that promotes entrepreneurship um, good citizenship, lots of life skills and things to better prepare kids for life in mm-hmm. general, you know, after it, they. Are you going to teach them how to balance a checkbook? Uh, actually, we're going to teach them online banking. <sighs> online banking. They will check their bank account every morning. That's awesome. But they Honestly, will, that's awesome. They'll earn money the the same way that you would at a job, but their job is to be a great seventh grader, right? So when you come to school, you get 20 virtual dollars. Wow. Um, when you have absolutely no behavior issues in a week, you get $100. So potentially you could make $200 a week. Wow. Um, and they have to log on, make sure they have money in their accounts because um, the other part of this is exposure and experience. So uh-huh. we're taking a population that needs to see things and experience things. And so they're going to museums, they're going to visit small businesses, they're going to talk with a farmer and, and, and see how, what, does, what all, explore all these different things, yeah. but that costs virtual money. Right, right. So, um, so they don't have money in their account, they can't go on a field trip? They cannot. Wow, that's great. They cannot. So, um, Is there Bitcoins? 
Um, there's actually, there's a program that they're going to, there's no, I'm not sure even what Bitcoin was that. I don't know either. I thought you were. Okay. No, no, I don't know anything about Bitcoin. We're both too old to know Bitcoin. But like they're, they'll be able to do online banking. That's really awesome. Yeah. And change attire. Um, yeah. I mean, we're going to do all those things. Basically we have five learning zones, communication, business, um, agriculture, um, gaming and Mm -hmm. technology and, um, art. Oh, okay. And so the, they'll they'll choose a house uh-huh. or learning zone, and that's going to also help with like uh, relationships, okay. um, culture building, um, some social emotional support, um, and weaved in there, of course, is their regular core curriculum. But yeah. lots of extra, and this targets a middle school population very much in need, and um, and we're going to turn around a school basically. That's awesome. And so last night, um, in front of the school board. Uh, you were awarded the approval to go forward to this grant with implementation. Awesome. Right. So, what's the next step? So, we start to, uh, you know, staff. We start to um, because, of course, we want people on board who are going to share our vision mm-hmm. and, and passion. And passion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, uh, you know, there'll be some strategic staffing um, involved. Right. Um, so that's definitely our next step. And then after that, we're going to have a big culture piece be- built um, um, as far as developing the culture and the buy-in. Okay. Before we move uh, far with anything else, like that's going to come first. So, what brick and mortar school are you going to be? Doing We're this at? Um, Villepot High School, uh, as it exists, is a seven to twelve campus, and so we're carving out um, it, a school within a school, uh-huh. and we're going to use that concept. So um, that's like ECA being on SLCC's campus, but but we'll have staggered times for for start and dismissal. Okay. So. Te- Ideally, the two populations would never intertwine. Oh, wow. That's so, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So when will you see your first students if all goes well? Um, in August. Wow. Yeah, in August. Wow. So we, we, we're... That's pretty We're going to put on some roller coaster... Uh, I'm sorry, some roller skates. And we're ready okay. to roll. So you could ride the roller coaster with, yes, with the roller, roller skates yes, and could. then you'd really be we moving. could i mean we may do that that's a good idea <laughs> that sounds like a final destination yeah <laughs> well that is really awesome so um is there anything that people out there uh, because you know i am number 92 in nigeria Okay. And, and it happened, no. I might be able to. I've hit number 91 in Hungary. Some awesome so. teacher mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, who would be interested in participating in a movement. That's right. Truly a movement. I mean, and, I mean, you know, come. A, a, I hope this is a catalyst for change mm-hmm. um, in the way we do middle school. So, would the plan be that this is kind of like, I don't want to use the word experiment, but it's kind of an experiment Pilot. in what you could do? Pilot. That's a great idea. Uh, and then if it works, you would try to expand it? Yes, into... definitely. That's... We hope to be a state model, and I would just venture to say a national model. Look at you. Yes. And I knew her win. There you go. Yeah. Well, that is awesome. Um, so where can people uh, you know, find out about this? And, and if they're interested, maybe you can see about getting their kids to go there. Um, so um, they, if, if anyone has any questions or maybe would be interested in, in teaching there or applying to teach there, um, my um, email is liz.shotland at epsb.com. That's Evangel Parish School Board. Um, and, and this will be in the show notes, so don't worry about trying to figure out how to spell shot. So you are welcome to email me with any you know questions, concerns, or an inquiry about uh, in future employment. You never know. Teacher, any teacher out there who wants to be innovative, who wants to participate in something great, this is a, this is a good opportunity. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, well, congratulations. That's yes, awesome. Thank you. Pilot. I like that. Um, well, great. Well, um, I think now that we know about real principles, mm-hmm. uh, if you're ready, I think ready. we could talk about some pretend principles. Okay. Now, I um, I came to Liz and I said just to come up with uh, at least five of her favorite principles. Um, and again, they're not the tape. They're not looking at, oh, this guy was the best actor. It's what it means personally to you as to why it's a favorite. And uh, I told her she could have some honorable mentions, but she chose not to. She was so sure of her list that mm-hmm. she had her five. Now, as we all know, that never happens. So I actually have <laughs> two honorable mentions. So for first okay. time almost ever, I'm going to go first and last. Okay. Right. okay. We're going to okay. see. We're going to see. So my two honorable mentions in no particular order 
are Miss Powers, the principal for Sky High. Oh, okay. As we know, Linda Carter. Oh, man, yeah. She was so... And, yeah. and you don't see her a lot in the film. But, man, when she comes out and she's got those uh, star earrings on. She's perfect. She's so perfect. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she really is. <sighs> she really is. I mean, I was such a fan. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it was great, too, because, um, you know, we all see her as Wonder Woman and all powerful and everything. But she ends up getting captured. And, you know, it was uh, it's just a really neat performance. And listen, my memory of that mm -hmm. was uh, when I was probably about in third grade, maybe, at Tina's house. Uh, your wife's uh -huh. house um, as a kid, and we were playing with Wonder Woman. Wow, like and the big we, dolls. Yeah, the, the mm -hmm. like yeah, like the 12, twelve inch. Yeah, I so remember that. Mm -hmm. Very uh, vivid. Too film. funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, we recently did a, a Wonder Woman episode. Uh, I had TJ and um, Jennifer. Uh, she's a Tina's longtime friend. They used to work. She's my yeah. friend too. Okay. But anyway, you know how that goes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, okay. Um, so anyway, that's one. Okay. So my other one. I'd All be right. very impressed if you know who this is. Okay. But it's from the movie Reanimator, based on a book from H.P. Lovecraft. Okay. And I'm talking about Dean Allen Halsey uh, from Miskatonic University. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he, one reason he's an honorable mention is, first of all, he's a dean and not a principal. So I couldn't really put him on the list. Okay. But as we all know... Uh, principals and deans, yeah, they, they have similar, the same role. You know. So um, this is a really great film. Uh, it's one I'm sure you've never seen, much less maybe never heard of. Okay. Um, but in it, um, you've got Herbert West, who is working on a reanimation formula. And um, he accidentally, one of his creations accidentally kills the dean. Okay. And they turn around and use the formula on him. Doesn't work out so well. Hilarity ensues. Okay, okay. Uh, but, uh, okay. He's, you know, so. Yeah, okay. You know, I could see he's not, you know, but. You know, okay, right. okay, good. So that's my two honorable mentions. All right. So now so, you know how to, now you know how it's going. you ready for my number five. I am so ready okay. for your number five. So my number five. Um, so we're like, when I watch movies and I, or um, I, don't, I don't always remember the name even. Okay. But the but the character just stands out like the image, how they behaved, what they did. Mm -hmm. But I'm not always that great at names, so I did have to go back and like what was, totally what was her name again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so my number five, um, and you might say, well, Liz, that's actually you do have one honorable mention. Okay. Um, but my number five is a duo. Okay. And the duo is from um, the series Vice Principals. Nice. Fairly nice. new. Oh, yes. Okay, I've heard of that. Fairly new. It had two seasons. I was so disappointed. There was no third season. <laughs> they canceled it. But was it a Saturday Night Live character or actor on there or something? No. No, okay. okay Don't okay. think so, but they could have been. All right. Like, all right, it's right, such right. that kind of thing. Okay. Um. So the two principals, the characters were Lee Russell and Neil Gamby. Okay. And um, I think I just appreciated the... You know, they were their vice principals, of course, mm -hmm. um, and they find out that the principal is resigning. Okay. And so there's this mad competition, <laughs> and it really is mad. Yeah. Um, as to who is going to take the place of the principal. Right. He gets the, and he it gets really the, the gets crown. to be completely wild, wow. like houses burn and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. Like people get. Um, hurt. There's like a, it involves a tiger, a live tiger. Wow. Like it's crazy. Wow. Um, but I appreciate the. I guess I and I've seen it right. The mm -hmm. principal and I've I've kind of been in that position. So my principals, I know my principals leaving. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I got my my degree. I'm ready to be a principal, right? But I'm not the only one ready to be a principal. So I'm like. You know, I'm going to do all I can. I'm going to, you know, do you need me to do this for you? Do you want me to run this program? Wash your car. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that I get the job. So I kind of have seen it. This is way the extreme. Right. But it was uh, it was hilarious. Okay. And unfortunately, very relatable. <laughs> so, um, Yeah, but, uh, tiger gets in Yeah, the school. tiger. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. It was, it, I'm serious. This is a must watch. So do we find out who gets the job? Um, we do. Okay. Um, it's, it's a, but it's a, such a, 
it's such a mad series of events that uh -huh. it's sort of it's it's really hard to there's so many things to talk about. But oh. anyway, oh. It, they were a great duo together okay. because they they oddly enough they really liked each other, but mm -hmm. they were competing for the, they same, the same position. Thing. Yeah. Right, they yeah. want the same thing. So um yeah, those are that is my number five. Okay, vice principles. All right, yeah. I like it. Right. All right. Well, my number five, I'm sure you know. Okay. Okay. Um he is he was the vice principal and then later on he becomes the principal of James Buchanan High School. And his name was Vice Principal Michael Woodman. Okay. Okay. One of the students under his care was Horshack. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> and of course talking. Love that. Welcome back, Carter. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that uh, Welcome Back Carter is a show that ran from 1975 to 1979. Um, John Sylvester White Jr. played this titular role. Um, so Welcome Back Carter is about uh, Gabe Kaplan, who uh, plays uh, Mr. Carter. Mm -hmm. That's all I can remember. I think his name was Gabe, too. I, I do, too. Yeah. Not... So he was a student in an inner city school. Uh, ends up getting all of his degrees and everything, and then comes back to teach. And this was one of the first roles. Um, for John Travolta. Yeah. Yeah. So Who, he was Vinny. Vinny Barbarino. Yeah. Up your nose with yeah, a rubber hose. Right, right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And I didn't realize because I guess I kind of tapered off at the end that he eventually got the principal job as well. Okay. So okay. yeah. yeah I didn't know that. There you go. So okay. Uh, yeah. Vice principal Lo Woodman loved that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I used it several times in. Um, like, the up your nose with a rubber hose. Well, no, I use this. <laughs> I use part of the series uh, to, um, and I would show the teachers um, just just to kind of add a little bit of comic relief to just you know all the diverse uh, mm -hmm. kids that we run across, you know, and just all their their different personalities that make them that way, right. and um, you know, I, and, and it's it kind of it, it's it led into a very serious conversation. Mm -hmm. But started with a very light, you know, hoarded tone. Yeah, because so. yeah, if you step back from it, that must have been a very hard class to Definitely. teach. Definitely. You know, yes. because, and this was even before the time of, I mean, of course, there was some drug use there. Yes. But, um, I mean, God, imagine what it's like today. You know? So humor usually gets uh, m many educators, uh, you know, through lots of things. Yeah. You, know, you have to find the humor in everything. And so I, I so appreciate the humor in... Um, those types of things like, you know, um, it's a tough class, mm -hmm. but, but he got through it by, you know, really, uh, you know, he, he had a relationship with him. They laughed a lot yeah. and you know, that was, um, uh, that's, that's why he made it. That's it. That's yeah. right. Well, awesome. Well, okay. obviously my number five is pretty doggone awesome. So your number four has really got to take it up a notch. So my number four is probably, you know, I think she's probably overlooked, um, as a principal uh, role, I don't know. Okay. I, it's just not, you know. I, she didn't come to my mind at first, but when I thought and thought, you know, um, and that is Miss Schlowski from um, Kindergarten Cop. Oh, 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 I know just what you're talking so, about. So you know, you have big, giant uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he, um, you know, he goes in there as a, of course, a kindergarten teacher, and she's tiny, tiny. Yes. But very, very stern. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course she gives him a horrible time at first and then she learns that, you know, to love him that he, yeah. you know, and I think I just appreciated her. She had a lot of, um, she let him do lots of things and sort of watched him grow and in, in the very Give end, him rope. Yes. Okay. And, um, you know, uh, there was a turnaround in the movie when he went to defend um, and was very uh, assertive with an abusive person. Assertive. Well, that's a good way to put it. And um, and then she uh, she sort of turned the other way uh -huh. and uh, let that happen. Yeah. Um, so that uh, she could, you know, she knew that that was, that kind of was the turning point, I guess you could say. Right. And she kind of, she led him to believe lots of things, led him, led the way for him, but didn't really come out and say it. She just. Yeah. Um, did so in a roundabout sort of way. Yeah, because I remember when she brought him into that office, it was like, yes. So you gotta tell me exactly what was it like to punch him? <laughs> Since she's this tiny little lady, mm -hmm. but then, he yeah. he was like she was all about the yeah. business. And then the door closes. She's like, 
<laughs> she was so excited, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. No, that's a great choice. Yeah. I love kindergarten cop. Yeah. You know, whenever we get a headache around here, one of us will go, maybe it's a tumor. Yeah. And then, it's not a tumor. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> have you seen Have you seen the new Black Panther movie? No. Okay. So the main villain, his name is uh, not important, but his second in command is named Atuma. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, okay. so, I know where that went. Yeah, okay. so when it was, yeah. he came up on the screen. A tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. So I am going to parry your number four with my number four. Okay. Which your friend Tina. Okay. Will much appreciate. Okay. I am talking about Mrs. Evelyn Togar. Mm -hmm. Vice principal. I'm sorry, principal of Vince Lombardi High School. The setting for the Ramones Rock and Roll High School. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she <laughs> she hates the Ramones. Man, I tell you what. <laughs> that is a straight lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so so uh, Vice Principal Togar um, just hates rock and roll music. And the Ramones um, are being played a lot. And so this is PJ Soul's um, big breakout performances. Everyone, everyone knows she was in Halloween okay. um, as a secondary character. So now she is uh, in the movie. She's fronter. She loves the Ramones. She takes a shower with the Ramones. Uh, it's, you know, but Miss Togar is having none of it and does everything she can to keep rock and roll out of the high school. Spoiler alert. She does it. So, anyway, always okay. loved her, Miss okay. Miss Togar. Okay. So. Yeah, and when I said that was a lie, I thought you were saying Tina hated the Ramones. Oh, that's t definitely what I meant. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. No. <laughs> I thought you were. No, I, was I mean like, Miss Togar I hates them. Oh my gosh, them. I know all the oh, Ramones yeah. songs because, because of, of Tina yeah, only because no, of Tina. No. That's why she would love that choice. Yes, that definitely. So, much. so my number three is. Um, the principal from Greece, Miss McGee. Uh huh. And the reason I chose Miss McGee is because she she never broke character. Right. Ever. Right. Her tone stayed the same. It's even when she was crying. Yeah, a bit. yeah. She she did not break character. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, she may have had a little moment or two, but she quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, even when you know she was talking about you know the Mooners will be identified. We have a database. The, the, uh, they have been sent to the FBI. FBI. <laughs> and Federal butt inspectors. Yes. <laughs> and she um, and I can I can remember uh, the secretary. You know she's playing oh, the little dude. ball. You know the little whatever, and she yeah. just kind of had. I mean, there's so many times. Uh, yeah. But she she tried to be very proper. Yeah. She did the best she could. Mm -hmm. Um, which is oftentimes what we do. And that's all you can do sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I had to give her props because she was in a, she was in a really, really tough situation. That's a wild <laughs> yeah. group of kids. It was. It was. Did you know that Lily is going to be in this, um, CYT's production of, um, Really? Greece? When yeah. is that? Uh, I believe it's in January. Okay. So I don't know who plays her. Um, okay. but I love to listen to, uh, on S on SXM radio, they uh -huh. have a thing called radio classics and they play okay. all the old radio shows. And there's a show called, uh, Mrs. Brooks about, okay. I think she's either the administrator or vice principal of a school and it's played by the same actress, oh, but when cool. she was younger. So Very cool. uh, yeah, it was, it was really neat okay. because she has these little daydream fantasies about the principal. Okay. Uh, about him coming in and like riding off with a white oh, on a white horse. It's, it's so really funny. funny, but that that voice is very distinctive. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. yeah, very distinctive. I think she was in Greece too, if I'm not mistaken. I, think. I don't know. It's been so long, and I yeah. loved Greece too as much as I love. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Mm -hmm. Even though a lot, not a lot of people will say that. No, not a lot will. Yeah, I Michelle did. Pfeiffer will say it. She, yeah, yeah, she would. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. So um I knew all the songs. Oh. But anyway, yeah. Hopelessly devoted. So yeah. Awesome. And uh, all the songs from Greece too as, as well. Oh, from Greece too. Oh yeah. What was that? Uh, he's a cool, cool writer. Oh yes, writer. indeed. Oh, mm -hmm. Can't believe I knew that. Had to rewind that on the cassette tape several times. <laughs> like a VCR just like that. Just, just like, like that. No, it's a little bit smaller, <laughs> but yeah. Um so my so, number three, yeah, okay. Um, you're going to be intimately familiar with, okay, um, because she is the principal of Astoria Elementary School. Okay, she is played by Linda Hunt. Okay, and the movie is called Kindergarten Cop. Oh, 
She's my number three right okay. there. Hey, I did not think we would have anyone the same. I, I didn't. Yeah, I cannot agree okay. with you more. Okay. Um, she 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 sees that there's something off about. Well, yeah. first of all, he is he's not supposed to be him. It was supposed to be his partner, and right. she gets sick, and so she knows something's not quite right mm -hmm. and he brings in the whistle and he brings in the right. ferret and she's just ready to like <laughs> oh, drop the hammer is. on him and then the little boy comes in who's he's being abused mm -hmm. and the wife is protecting him and he just pummels the dad yep rightly so and um even when she finds out that yep. he's not really a cop i mean that he's not really a teacher but a cop um she she really has a lot of love for him yes. and for what he did and for, for he the did, kids right. you know? that's right so no okay um Unknown, little known fact. Did you know there's a sequel to Kindergarten Cop no. called Kindergarten Cop 2? I did not. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on a whole episode about, did you know there was a sequel? Oh, wow. That's like, pretty interesting. <laughs> did you know there was a sequel to Rocky Horror Picture Show? No. Yeah. Sure there was. Again, I only watch Rocky Horror Picture <laughs> Show because of your wife, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we went to one not too long ago. Oh, really? Yeah, down in Baton Rouge. Okay. It was a lot of fun. That is, it, I'm sure it was. It was eye-opening. It was a live version, mm -hmm. not the movie yeah. either. That's so, cool. It was it was different, you know. We'll tell you off camera all about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That sounds interesting. Well, now that we have matching number three, okay. I mean, I think that means you could give us your number two. So I'm my number two. Um, <laughs> number uh, we, two. <laughs> we we go. Principals need, like I said, we need a lot of humor. Okay. Like we gotta, we have to be able to laugh. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Um, but we have to be able to laugh at things. Like, okay. that is what gets us through right. laughter. So my number two is not necessarily a TV or movie personality, but a social media personality. Oh, look at you breaking out of the barriers. Jerry Brooks. Okay. Um, And so he is a principal, and he's probably not anymore. Is this the guy was. with the T-shirts? Um. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm Go not ahead. sure if he has any, okay. any t I mean, I'm sure he does. But um, now he, he sort of travels around to conferences, like teacher educator conferences, uh -huh. and he's a, a guest speaker because what he did was he took serious situations that people get super stressed about, uh -huh. you know, testing, um, um, you know, upset parents, um, you know, uh, test scores. Uh, I already said that, but. Um, well, test scores are very important. That's they why are. They are twice. absolutely uh, important. And people get super, you know, wrapped up in that. And um, it could, it really is so hard to conquer some of the challenges in education mm -hmm. that I um, appreciate him bringing a little bit of humor and laughter into some of it. Just, you know, like, and his, his message is usually like, just, just lighten up. Right. We just have to lighten up a little bit. All these things are really important and we need to do better and we have to do better for kids always. But... We cannot take this so seriously that we make ourselves sick, right? Right, right. Um, we can only do our absolute best, teach kids every single day, you know, love them, support them. But at the end of the day, we, we don't have control over everything. Interesting. Um, so he's a real person? He's a real, real principal. Okay, so he's not, he, he's he, not portraying somebody. No, he's, okay, he's gotcha. a real person, gotcha. but he's a, but totally he's a social media personality. Totally didn't follow instructions. <laughs> I didn't. What? No, but I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You please go but ahead. He is my, my number two because of his, um, his unique perspective on how to make things um, just, just make things lighter. Right, right. You know? All right. Well, one second. I'm gonna check with the judges. I didn't think that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna allow it. Okay. That's good, good job. That's good. I broke the rule a little bit. That's I always all right. do. Just but you bit. know, the judges say it's all right. Okay. Then then, I'm okay. Okay. We good. You know? yeah. We good. Um, okay. Well, so I'll have a number two okay. who is a pretend person. Okay. Okay. But she's a real actress, or okay. or she was. But anyway, uh, I'm talking about Miss Agatha Trunchbull. Mm. Do you? That sounds familiar. I mean, she yeah. w was the headmistress of Crunchem Hall Primary School, and had a really, really bad, bad attitude towards kids, okay. especially a little girl named Matilda. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Um, I, I, I love the character because she's so hate i mean you could just so easily hate on her i mean there's nothing yeah. good about her no. you know um she picks the little girl up by the by the pigtails and swings her around and throws her principals and are always the bad guy yeah they yeah. really are well, they should be like, they yeah i mean they have to be, they have to be they are 
the person. They're the parents so, for the whole family. Yeah, so they're always the bad guy. Like, right. Are either they're either the bad guys or they make the poor principals look like they don't have any sense. You know, like they're oh the crazy. And you were able to do both, so-and-so. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Unique talent. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now she, so. she was um she's just again, um I don't I don't aspire to be with her or be like her or anything. Like I just thought she instantly remembered. When when they came to this list, that was one of the very first people that came yeah, to my yeah. list. And um, the Lily again it goes back to Lily um, was uh, in a Matilda presentation. Okay. And the little guy who played I shouldn't say little because he was a big guy um, played Agatha was just oh, it's just I really really enjoy. And I hear they're making a there's another movie okay. version of it coming out. Okay, cool. So we'll get to see her again. Okay. But um, cool. Well, uh, I know that you're. A principal. Uh huh. Um, so I don't know if math was one of your big things or not. I taught math. Middle okay. School math. All right. Well, so then if we're good, then I think we could carry the two and the six. <laughs> we're back to your number one. 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 We're gonna and we only have one to match. Okay. So I'm going to be okay. interested to see. So my number one is a cartoon character. Oh my gosh. We don't, we don't match. Cartoon character. Okay. And this cartoon is the best depiction of school it is the most accurate most creative depiction really? of school okay and I, I watch it still can i take a guess yeah I, I want two guesses okay is it the guy from family guy no is it the guy from the simpsons no wow okay lay it on me it is principal peter prickly from the cartoon series Recess. Oh yeah, the Nickelodeon show. No. No. Disney. Disney. Oh, okay. Okay. Disney. Sorry, I didn't use. To... Sorry, Disney. Please don't cancel. Disney. My Disney Plus. Um, and so, <laughs> so Principal Peter Disney. Prickly, um, and, and it's just oddly in it, like he's his name is Prickly, right? So uncomfortable. Prickly things are not comfortable. It's just you know you just you don't like Prickly, right? And so they made tons of like jokes and stuff and the kids there was this one little gang of kids and um they basically were always doing stuff at recess right they were always getting in trouble and it was just super accurate like everything i was like i taught middle school and i'd say oh my gosh (laughs) that is exactly what middle school that's exactly what they do and then principal prickly he was just that he was he was the bad guy oftentimes okay But, but there were several like um I guess very sincere moments with the leader of the group, TJ, mm-hmm. where he could see that Principal Prickly was like a real person. Like, oh, and he okay. even go back to his group and say, you know, we had the best, I had the best talk with Principal Prickly. And they were wow. like, what? what? No, you traitor, you know, <laughs> um, because he's supposed to be the bad guy, right? Right. Um, but they, um, they sort of go through recess after recess. Okay. And uh, with Principal Prickly, of course, they're dodging him. He, you know, they're they're trying to do things different and interesting without Principal Prickly knowing. Sometimes he does know and he doesn't, you know, say anything, whatever. Yeah. But um he's a it's a really good depiction of how you have to be a principal. So like so at the end of the day, Principal Prickly has to be the authority at the school and right. he's got to make things run well. But there's this really um, soft side to Principal Prickly, mm-hmm. and uh, the he, underbelly. So you know, speak. he yeah, pretty much, and he um, and so you get to see both parts. I guess I, I could relate to the whole having to go back and forth, yeah, and only sharing those little um, moments, those soft moments with kids, kind of on one on one ish, but in front of the group, yeah. I'm Principal Prickly, and you don't have to like me. Oh, kind of thing. Wow. And and one thing that they um he tried to get him to stop saying, but you know, instead of the kids would say, This womps or okay. womp that. Okay. Because, you know, of course they weren't saying a bad word. Right. Fudge. But they made their own word and it was womp. All right. And Principal Prickly was like always because he wanted to He knows what it is, but they're not like, saying anything. I don't want to fuss at them for saying womp, but I can't. So what time period was this? Was like- this was probably, oh my gosh, um, I would say early 2000. Oh, okay, okay. 2000, 2001 maybe. So had you become a principal yet? No, I was a teacher. Uh, so would you say that Principal Prickly helped 
mold who um, you are? Shape the future principle of Mamu High? Maybe so. Yeah. I've had I've I've been there and done that. Okay. And had to go out in front of all the kids and say, we need to do this, and this is how it's going to be. Uh -huh. But I've also had many, many moments where, you know, I was very, um, kind of took on a mentor role and, and, and was more of a, um, I may have been a mother, I may have been, oh, yeah, you know, right. any, you know, lots of, lots of roles that the kids don't, mother uh, don't have, yeah. And it didn't always, it wasn't always <laughs> wonderful. Sometimes it womped, but it just kind of, you I'm know. I'm so using that now. <laughs> but anyway. That's um, cool. Yeah, so Principal Peter Prickley is my, and I still watch episodes of Recess. Really? That's awesome. Well, yeah, it's got a, that nostalgic feeling to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. The kids, the Is it on Disney everything. Plus? Do you know? It is on it Disney is. Plus. It is, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you go out there and, you know, you tell them, let's Principal you. Prickley. That's yeah. it. So... You're number one. Which is nothing from your list. Okay. But you'll know exactly who this is. Okay. I have four words for you. What? Back to the future. Oh. Okay. Principal Strickland. Oh, yeah. Not just is he a vice principal. I think he's a vice principal in current days. Okay. He's the uh, principal in future days. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he's a Wild West this gunslinger. Right. That's right. So you get to see him three different ways. And yeah, he he's like a little kind of pale man. Bald headed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He's calling everybody a slacker. Yes. You're a slacker. Yes. <laughs> he's played by a, game, a guy named uh, James Tolkien. Okay. And um, when it comes to doing these lists, and I do a lot of lists, um, sometimes number one is comes right to me. And... Vice Principal Strickland, really? yeah, okay. was without a doubt. He just the stands out. Stands out. Just, <clears throat> it's so funny because in, in the first movie, when they go back into the fifties, mm -hmm. and he's the vice principal at that point, okay, and he's going around with McFly, and you know, there's like the kick me on the back and stuff, you know, he's a slacker, and then goes back to normal time, and you see him again, and he's still using slacker, and then. <laughs> When he goes to the alternate timeline he's, with the shotgun. He, he <laughs> so it's just the slacker. That's funny. You know? I don't remember that. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely was a Back to the Future fan. But yeah. I, I don't remember the slacker uh, being used in all the different. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I don't know that he uses it in the Wild West, but I uh, have to go back and see. That's funny. That's pretty yeah. funny. But uh, that's my number one. That's awesome. His name was uh, Stanford S. Strickland. S-S-S. So, okay. Who know? Who know? <laughs> but we did have one in common. We did. We did. I wouldn't have thought that one. I thought that one was kind of far fetched. I'll, I'll have to be honest with you. I mean, I know that you're, you know, you're you're a humorous person too, and you know, like. Yeah. I really thought you were going to go with the, um, you know, like the the stand and deliver or one of no. those. And I, I, you know, I I thought about it, but I, but if I'm going to be completely honest, I I gravitated more towards. Like the fictional, uh, and not that, I, and I understand the deliver was great, but I just gravitated toward the more um, humorous things. Mm -hmm. I like, and like you were saying, I didn't, I didn't, I watch those and I'm very inspired by them, but um, I guess I just appreciate the humor of. And you I could relate to I it, could, I guess. Yeah, seeing myself in, in mm -hmm. lots of these situations and of the people I named. Yeah. yeah. You know. Was Michelle Pfeiffer. A principal or just a teacher in that movie? In what movie? I don't oh, remember. Sam Deliver Teacher. Was that was no. that what no. She was in another movie where she, she goes to like an inner Sure. Yeah. She was she was a, a English teacher, teacher maybe. Oh, okay. okay. I couldn't remember. I don't that. think she was principal. Okay. But she had a tough time. Yes. So but Sam Jackson was the principal in Stand and Deliver, right? Yeah, I think that was at very early. Yeah, yeah. We're actually working um my future co host uh, Scout, who will be doing a new show right here. And okay. the we're going to be watching all of the Star Wars movies. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but she and I are fixing to do a Sam Jackson episode, and oh. be ready because it's going to be my first explicit episode. Who? Because you cannot no. have a Sam Jackson episode. <laughs> you can't without some other wompers. No. Some so, womp going some on womp, womp, in womp. that episode. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, listen, I am so happy that you came and, well, and I sat with too. me. I had a great time. Uh, thank you. you. No, thank you. I mean, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, and you have really such an interesting perspective. And that's what I love, yeah. you know, to get people just like you great. to come in to do it. Anytime. Oh, well, I may take you up on that okay. because I'm thinking about a list of favorite teachers. Oh. And, okay. But I would have to hear some anonymous worst teacher story from you. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, we'll I see. We'll have to, have to do a trade off. Stories, so, if you'd like to do that mm -hmm. and you want to come back, we can sure. set that up and do sure. it. Sure, let's do it. Well, awesome. I love it. It was so easy. Well, again, I want to thank you so okay. much for being here. Thanks. And I want to thank all of you out there in the podcast universe for being with us for another episode of Fave Five for Fans. Don't forget, you can find us out on the web at Fave Five from Fans.com. You can find us on Twitter. Uh, 2023 TikTok, yeah, hmm? not so mm, old, right? Really? Right. We do the gram, as Lily hates for me to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to ask you, please, to go uh, wherever you're seeing this, or if you're listening to it, to uh, give us a thumbs up or a five star review. Um, tell somebody about the show if you really like us and you think it was fun. Mm -hmm. um, and if you hate the show. Tell somebody you don't like. You know, maybe it'll ruin an hour or an hour and a half of their life. Who knows? <laughs> um, so, Faith Five from Fans is from part of the slightly irregular uh, network, slightly irregular podcast network, mm -hmm. and you can find us at sipnet.us. Well, I mean, that's it for the episode. Okay. I do again want to uh, thank Summer for her amazing Frankenhooker VHS LED lamp special. I think it's the only one she's ever done. I'm not okay. sure. Very cool. Um, yeah. Thank you. She was very cool. See, that's her up there on the wall over there. Not oh. Summer. That's the Frankenhooker over there. Oh. In the okay. purple dress. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Liz, thanks. Yes. Have a wonderful time and a Merry Christmas. You too. Y'all have a Merry Christmas thank too. You. And remember, folks, it may not be the best. It may not be the most popular. But if it's your favorite, then that's good enough for us. Thank you and have a happy new year.